Hello friends. Have you ever wondered why you don't see any helicopters capable of supersonic flight? The reason is that helicopters have a speed limit, but it's not set by some government agency. The helicopter speed limit is set by physics. I learned about the helicopter speed limit a few years back from Destin on the YouTube channel Smarter Every Day. At the end of his video, Destin asked what seemed to be a simple question. Which of these three helicopters is the fastest in the US Army inventory? So do you know which of these three helicopters is the fastest? When I first thought about this, I had no clue. But if you look closely at these helicopters, you'll notice that one stands out as being different, the Chinook. It's a tandem rotor helicopter. And it turns out, because of the dual set of rotors, the Chinook is indeed the fastest of the three. Let's dive deeper into this. You see, traditional single rotor helicopters don't like to go very fast, and it's due to the main rotor. Let's imagine that we're moving forward in our chopper. Already we have our first problem. The right side of the rotor, called the advancing blade, is now moving faster than the left side. That means the advancing blade will create more lift than the retreating blade. This is what's known as dissymmetry of lift. It's a problem unique to rotor flight aircraft, and it's something that helicopter engineers have had to compensate for. Here's a little more detail on why this lift imbalance occurs. Let's imagine that our helicopter is traveling forward at 50 miles an hour, and let's, for the sake of easy math, say that our rotor tip speed is 450 miles an hour. Now, to find the relative speed of the rotor compared to the air, we have to add these values together. And because the retreating blade is moving in the opposite direction from our travel speed, the travel speed is subtracted away from the rotor tip speed on on that side. In this instance, we have a 100 mile per hour difference in the relative speed of the advancing and retreating blades. This is why the advancing blade generates more lift than the retreating blade. So, helicopters purposefully adjust the angle of attack of the rotor blades and employ a technique called blade flapping to counteract this dissymmetry of lift. The retreating blade is given a greater angle of attack, creating extra lift on that side. And a lesser angle of attack is given to the advancing blade, decreasing lift. This technique balances the lift on the rotor, but only up to a certain point. As the helicopter travels faster and faster, the rotor needs greater and greater angle of attack in order to maintain lift balance. Eventually, the pitch of the rotor exceeds the critical angle, and you start to lose the lift, allowing that dissymmetry of lift to creep back in. Because of gyroscopic precession, the lift imbalance will pitch the helicopter up and slow it down, causing what is known as a retreating blade stall. As you can imagine, dissymmetry of lift is a main limiting factor of helicopter speed. So back to the Chinook. How does the tandem rotor solve solve the dissymmetry of lift problem. Well, the two rotors spin in opposite directions. Each of the individual rotors still experience imbalance lift, but on opposite sides from each other. Essentially, the imbalances cancel out each other, and the helicopter experiences balance lift at any speed. No need to compensate. The tandem rotor technique can also be employed by stacking counter-rotating rotors. This saves space and achieves the same results. Tandem rotor helicopters are pretty quick. But overall, helicopters simply can't achieve the same speeds as superfast airplanes. The helicopter rotor is inherently flawed in regards to speed. If a helicopter travels too fast, areas of the retreating blade will slow enough to experience zero or even reverse relative airflow. At the same time, the tip of the advancing blade will approach a fast enough speed that shock waves can form. Because of these limiting factors, the maximum forward speed a helicopter can theoretically achieve is about 250 miles an hour. Well, 